you can reach anyone in the world. You can get in contact with anybody in the world. You can achieve your dreams. You can do whatever it is that you want. You just got to take the chance and know when to do it. Juice World, Camp Flogna. What a legendary performance. I wanted to go to Camp Flogna to shoot Juice and watch him perform. I had never seen Juice perform live. I've only heard great things. I was a huge fan of his music and I can't believe I got to share the stage with him, let alone get this shot and a couple of other like more, you know, shots from that night. But the energy, man, I mean, you could tell, man, he was a happy person. He loved this music. You know, he was performing to his crowd. People in the crowd were happy. So how this photo came came to life, this is at Dodger Stadium in Cap Flogna and I hit up my buddy Chris Long and he used to shoot for Juice. I told Chris, I was like, look man, I don't care about bringing my camera or anything. I really want to just come and watch Juice perform. Like his energy, this, that, like people tell me all the time, I've never gotten an opportunity to shoot him or just listen to him or watch him live. He makes it happen backstage, takes off his wristband, walks me in, we get in, like this whole thing. I bring my camera in, now it's official. I'm walking with Juice and his team and I hit the stage with him and Chris and the whole squad and Juice just unleashed. Like he was singing, dancing, having a good time. He brought his girl out, he gave her flowers. Like it was just the most personal one-on-one -on -one experience. I mean, on, on stage, like in this photo, I could feel like I'm the artist, like what the artist feels when the crowd is reacting to them, you know? This Flogna is actually, yeah, this, this concert specifically is legendary. So when Juice performed, it was a two-day festival, when Juice performed, you know, I kind of had the wristband and I could use it for next day. And Chris wasn't going to go. He goes, just keep the wristband if you want to go next day. And I was like, I sure will. So next day I went and there was a surprise guest that nobody knew about. Sure enough, that surprise guest was the greatest of all time. There's so much that ties into this photo for me. You know, the next day after Juice performed, I was shooting a bunch of other people that were performing. Lil Uzi was there, you know, ASAP Rocky, this, that. It was like a good vibe. It was just like dope people performing. And then the last person was gonna be the surprise performer, which was Drake. An hour before the last performance, I see pretty much all of the OVO crew there. And I just kind of put two and two together. I'm like, it's most likely gonna be Drake who's gonna perform. So I positioned myself backstage this is literally like, if you make a right here, you enter the stage. That's where this is. And on this side, there were firefighters. So I'm like, dude, if security comes, like they're gonna clear the backstage, like how am I gonna remain here? So I just went and hung out with the firefighters for like 15, 20 minutes. I was just like talking to them, you know? And sure enough, I see Drake come up, like he's, you know, coming up with his crew. And I was like, this is gonna be epic. I'm, if you can't tell, I'm really excited. I love shooting Drake, he's one of my favorite artists. Um, he came up, he put his ears on, everything was ready to go. Before they handed the mic and I said, yo Drake, like, can I get a photo? Like you're the surprise guest, no one really knows. This is gonna be like an iconic picture, you know, for the show and all that. He goes, yeah man, like, sure, let's go ahead and do it. So he just kind of gave me a peace sign, whatever. I shot this photo, I left backstage. No one else got this shot because no other photographers were there. No one was really allowed. I just kind of, you know, happened to maneuver my way in there. I knew a couple people on his team, so he saw me say what's up to them. Like he felt a little bit more comfortable. This was the show where Drake was performing and the Tyler, the Creator fans were disappointed because it wasn't Frank Ocean. Drake came out. Not only did he perform his hits, he performed songs that he wouldn't normally do, like singing songs. And he goes, I'm gonna perform this because Tyler asked me to. I haven't performed this song in like 15 years and he performed in November. Like it was just, it, I don't know, man. It, it, it was a very specific time, like a, the thing to be at, a, a show. I'm just kind of happy that I got to be there because it will never happen again. Like no one's ever gonna say Drake was booed off the stage. He wasn't booed off the stage. That was the narrative. I was there. People, like five people were like, ooh, whatever. But Drake didn't react to that. He just saw that the crowd wasn't as amped as they normally would be at his shows. So he kind of gave the crowd a choice. He said, if you don't want me to perform for you, just, you know, that's fine, I won't. Like, if you're not feeling it, just tell me. And the crowd was like, yeah, this, that. It was like mixed signals. And him being the superstar he is, he said, you know what? I'm gonna save this for another time. I'm just gonna give you guys what you want. And he just like left the stage, so. So like this for me is like a very special shot. I was the only person that got a photo of Drake that day. And sure enough, this also was like on Complex, Billboard, like all these people reposted it. And 
And you know, that's kind of like the most intimate photo I have of Drake until Man, this was, this was very, very recently. This is the latest photo I've shot from the first event I shot post COVID. Um, so it was called the Crew League. There was a basketball league that, you know, celebrities to go play in, Chris Brown has a team, Sway Lee has a team, Tyga has a team, g Easy, and you know, all these people have their own teams and they go play basketball and they compete. Now we're watching the game and I'm thinking my whole time, I was like, how am I gonna shoot Drake right now? He's with his friends, he's in an intimate setup, you know, he's not gonna wanna like look at me and take pictures and I had to wait for the perfect moment, you know? So when the game is done, Chris Brown wins, quarter million dollars, you know, they're gonna give the prize. Drake is getting ready to, to leave. He sees my camera and he sees this sticker right here. It says the sixth family. Now this sticker right here is on my camera because this diffuser right here falls off all the time. And I had to, I, I had to put something, you know, um, and it actually broke, like the piece here broke when I was shooting Drake's birthday a couple of years ago. And this sticker was one of the party favors at his birthday. So I stuck it on there and it holds my camera, you know, the flash stuff together. He looks at me, he goes, yo, where do you get that sticker from? <laughs> I said, I shot your birthday a couple of years ago. He goes, word, like, who, who do you shoot for? And I was like, you know, I was shooting for Complex at the time and you know, I'm a freelance, it's what I do. He goes, that, that's dope. And I was like, and now that you ask, I have to get a shot of you. He goes, no nah, man, like, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, this and that. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know what you're gonna do? You're like the biggest superstar in the world. You don't, you, you can just do you. And he started laughing and he put his hand on the railing. So I took this photo and then he was just, you know, like we were just talking, I said something to him, he was laughing again. As he's walking off, I got a couple of shots of him like smiling and laughing. And then he goes, you know, man, I never get these photos. And I was like, just connect me with your people and I'll get you the shots. He connected me with his manager, you know, number exchange, all that stuff. And, um, and as he's turning around to leave, and I was like, it would have been legendary if we got one together as well. He goes, absolutely, man, come through. He put his arm around me, we took a picture together. At this point, I'm like, let me just get out of here, go down, you know, like transfer these photos to my phone before I lose them and edit them. So I go down, they're still up there. I'm transferring the photos on my phone. And then you see Drake coming down the stairs. Somebody from way behind, like some fan saw Drake leaving. So he started filming. And the video shows the moment Drake is coming down and he turns around and he goes, I better see those photos tonight. And I was like, absolutely, you got it. You know, and that moment is captured on video. And you know, someone had posted that on TikTok is like Drake was at this thing and that video was blowing up. So, so many friends were sending me that video from TikTok. Yo, you're, you're here, you're here. Um, it was just cool, man. It was a great experience. I got to shoot Drake again in another intimate setup, you know. Again, no one else got a shot of Drake that night. Like it was just like these, both these photos mean a lot to me. He's my favorite artist. I've gotten to shoot him a couple times already. I've shot him at the forum before. I've shot him at some shows before, but this is, this is different. This is like a one-on-one -on -one intimate thing. I love what I do. I'm a big fan of showing people in their natural element while they're having a good time. All these people, you know, talk bad stuff about celebrities, but celebrities are, you know, getting caught up in all this shit. And if you know how to shoot them, right place, right time, they'll be cool with you. They'll be, they'll be open to talk to you, you know? And this just kind of shows like, you can reach anyone in the world. You can get in contact with anybody in the world. You can achieve your dreams. You can do whatever it is that you want. You just got to take the chance and know when to do it. I've met Drake three, four times before this, and I never had that opportunity to have that conversation. Five years, six years down the line, there it is. So. I just hope that's, you know, that's motivation for someone who's trying to get in the game and do what it is. And yeah, man, just keep shooting, keep working hard, keep tagging pages on social media and just be honest and humble. You'll go a long way. I'm very fortunate to be in this position. I'm very fortunate to be the only Armenian doing this um, at this time. And, you know, I'll carry our name to the highest places. And I hope that one day I will be remembered for the work I'm doing. I really am grateful for all the support that I get from the Armenian community. You know, it's part of who I am. It is who I am. And I'll always remain that person. I'll remain true to my people. Let's work together and elevate our people to the next level.